Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis, and this is for trading on July the 23rd, 2021. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So the big thing today was ECB monetary policy statement, and uh, we saw euro go in both directions as a result of the ECB uh, monetary policy statement press conference, especially. So um, the bottom line, though, is they haven't really changed a whole lot. So in terms of forward guidance, um, they are basing it on inflation. So inflation need, uh, needs to reach 2%, which doesn't look like we are going to see that very very soon, which means the interest rates are not going to get raised um, anytime soon. Uh, plus, in terms of the purchase fo asset purchase program, they are not uh, cutting back on that either at this point. And this is why uh, euro has been bearish. So based on uh, the forward guidance or what the ECB, what was said in the ECB press conference, uh, this is a bearish for euro, uh, where we are seeing Bank of Canada, for example, uh, providing guidance on raising rates and they're talking about cutting back on asset purchase programs, ECB is not doing any of that. So overall euro based on the um, on the press conference here is bearish. And coming up on Friday here, we have a ton of data coming in. Uh, so the morning looks um, quite volatile here. We have retail sales numbers for UK and then we have PMI numbers here. PMI numbers are very important. They're precursors to retail sales and GDP and all of that. So these numbers are very important. If we see that the numbers are going up, so if the purchasing managers are bullish on the economy, then um, basically gives a positive view on the economy, which means the sales are likely to be higher as well. And all of that is positive. So we have PMI numbers for the Eurozone and, <laughs> sorry, excuse me, for UK as well, and then retail sales numbers for Canada, as well as PMI numbers for US. So overall, the morning here looks uh, fairly, fairly busy, so expect volatility in the market as a result of that. All right, so moving on to our charts here, we'll start off with Euro dollar. So Euro is still stuck in a range. We saw that price went all the way to the top of the range here, and now we are into the bottom of the range. So at this point, it's closed very bearish, um, but it hasn't managed to break through the support here. And this is why we need to be careful. With this here, neutral to bearish bias, if the price is able to go through the support, then we'll see a continuation into the support level here, um, all the way into the swing low here. However, at this point, we do need to see a break through the support for that to happen. Uh, right now, though, we may see a pullback here. I will look for a pullback into 1.1785. That's the first level to watch out for but then it can go into 1.1800 as well. Uh, so something like this, and then it could turn back around. So right now, neutral to bearish bias for it to turn completely bearish, we do need to see a break through the support at 1.1750. So for now, neutral to bearish bias, next target here, should it break through the support would be 1.1700, sorry, 1 1.1730. Pound here, pound looking quite bullish. Part of it was just the bullishness. A US dollar wasn't that strong. And then also with the euro selling off, um, it does push the pound higher as well. So bias here is bullish. We're looking for pr price to go all the way into 1.3800. And this is where if it doesn't go through, because this is an important support resistance level at that point, and this is where we may see a turnaround. So uh, we need to watch out for that. But right now, bias is bullish. 1.38 is the next target. And if it continues through that, um, we are looking at 1.3860. So bullish bias here for pound dollar. Aussie dollar here uh, in this case, looking quite neutral. And um, we have a uh, we have a very neutral candle close prices into this previous support resistance level here into important support resistance level. So if it doesn't go through today's high, this is where prices 
reacted several times previously. So we could see um, a turnaround from here. So watch out for that neutral bias. If it holds below uh, 0.7400, then we're looking for things to turn around and go lower. So right now, neutral bias, um, watch out for potential reversal here. And in terms of our target here, we're looking for a drop. But if it goes through the resistance, then next target is 0 0.7440. But otherwise, I'm looking for a move back down towards 0 0.7340. So neutral bias um, for Aussie dollar. So looking for something like this, basically. So that is neutral. <coughs> Excuse me, New Zealand dollar here. This is looking neutral as well. Price is, um, as we can see, price is into resistance here as well. And this is where it has reacted previously. So I'm looking for a retest of 0. Um, 6985. If it holds, then we're looking for a move back down. So right now, uh, this is neutral. Not much has happened, even though uh, it appears quite choppy. It's just gone back and forth, uh, but no real trend um, that we can see here. Just a lot of choppiness. So bias right now is, <coughs> excuse me, neutral for New Zealand dollar. Dollar CAD here, this one also looking a neutral uh, price went into the support, couldn't break through, and then we are back again. So I'm looking for retest of the support at 1.2525. If it holds above, then we're looking for a move back um, into move back up into 1.2600. So neutral bias for dollar CAD as well. Moving on to our commodities here, silver still looking bullish. Uh, this one could go a little further here. Still not into resistance um, or into the bottom of the range here. I'm looking for price to go into resistance, which was our previous support turning into resistance here. And it could struggle here. So I would watch out 25.50 uh, level here. Uh, but bias is bullish. 25.50 is the next target. It could go all the way into 25.75. So 25.50 and 25.75, those are the two targets here for silver uh, looking a bit bullish here. Gold, gold also looking bullish. It bounced off of the support. This is a strong support resistance level. We have a bullish pin bar. So looking for price to go into 1816.75. But we'll have to watch out here because it could turn around because this is an important support resistance level as well. And price has really struggled with it multiple times. So bias is bullish, but watch out for 1816. Should it go through, though, then we definitely have more room. 1825 will be the next target. So bullish bias for gold. Um, oil still looking bullish here. It's coming into resistance, though. So keep an eye on. Uh, 72, and this is where things could. So basically, we had a big drop, and now we the price has recovered that. However, now that we are into resistance, we need to keep an eye on 72. If it fails, um, we're looking for a drop again. But for now, though, it does look bullish. Next target is 74.20. So bullish bias with caution, though. Copper here, copper looking bullish. Uh, we are looking for a move back towards the top here. 4.33 uh, 4 is the target, and this is where it could struggle. So 4.33 is the first, and then 4.36 is the second target, so bullish bias for copper. Bitcoin here, Bitcoin struggling. Um, now, it couldn't get through the resistance uh, from yesterday, which means things could turn around here. So watch out for a reaction at 33,000 if it holds below we're looking for another move lower than. So it's been consistently making lower highs here. Uh, so this could just have been a pullback for further continuation to the downside. Target here is 29,750. S&P 500, this one also looking bullish, uh, looking for price to retest the highs at 4,400. Um, and then if it continues higher, we could go all the way into 4420. We are coming into Friday, though. Fridays uh, can be reversal days, so keep that in mind. But for now, 4400 is the target, so bullish bias here for S&P 500. NASDAQ also looking bullish, looking quite strong here. Uh, right into resistance, though. So again, bear that in mind. 
uh, but looking bullish at the moment. So next target is 15,120. 15, so bullish bias for NASDAQ with caution though, because it's into all time highs. And then with DAX here, uh, sorry, with Dow Jones here, this one's looking bullish as well. We are very close to the target uh, into the all time highs here. So keep that in mind. Again, 35,000 is the target. And this is where it could react. So we could see a drop off of the um, off of the resistance, a reaction off of the resistance. So 35,000 is the target for Dow Jones. And then DAX here, DAX struggling a little bit into the resistance. I'm looking for retest of 15,580. And if it holds below, we're looking for a drop here. So neutral bias for DAX. FTSE, FTSE struggling into resistance. And um, here we have a bearish candle close. So now looking for a drop back down here. So bias is bearish for FTSE. And in terms of the target, we are looking at uh, 68.80. And then Nikkei here, um, Nikkei is neutral. This one um, could continue a little higher here into 28,200. And then we will look for a reaction at that level. Uh, this is a strong support resistance level. So we'll watch out for that. Right now, neutral to bullish bias for FTSE. So 28,200 is the target. All right, so that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful trading day and I will be back again on Sunday with the weekly analysis. Have a great weekend um, and see you then. Bye for now.